Welcome back, builders and curious minds. Today we're breaking down top trending and best dev tool projects this week and showing how they can simplify your workflow, sharpen your focus, and save real development time. From AI-assisted coding discipline to full-stack starters and clean front-end setups, these projects highlight where modern dev tools are heading right now. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Claude Config, Structured Claude Code Setup and Workflow Toolkit. Let's dive into the world of Claude Config, a thoughtful set of customizations and workflows designed to tame and organize how you use Claude code in real projects. This free open source configuration repo shows how one experienced developer faced the real pain of messy AI-assisted coding and built a disciplined way to manage context, skills, and sub-agents so that generative suggestions stay focused and reliable. The repo lives as Python files and markdown layouts that guide Claude's behavior through per-directory indices, explicit planning patterns, and automated discipline that keeps context clean and relevant, a key practical advantage over raw LLM outputs that drift over large code bases. The project integrates deeply with the Claude code workflow using structured cltod.mdo and readme. CL hierarchies that prioritize just-in-time context, planning before execution, and review cycles that catch mistakes early. It supports custom skills such as problem analysis, planning, and codebase exploration, all aimed at reducing technical debt and improving output quality. Built for developers who rely on AI for real work, this project boosts productivity by curbing confusion and enforcing clarity as you scale, limitation, not specified in the repo. Roadmap, not specified in the repo. Explore it once and notice how much smoother your work feels. Project number two, React Chakra Portfolio. Simple React Portfolio with Chakra UI. Let's dive into the world of React Chakra Portfolio, a clean personal developer website built with React.js and Chakra UI that brings your work and skills online with speed and style. This open project ties together React components and a responsive design system so that even a single engineer can launch a professional web presence without wrestling with CSS layouts by hand. The repo's code shows a typical Create React app setup using Chakra UI's accessible component library for layouts, buttons, icons, and more, helping you focus on what matters, your content and visual identity, without reinventing UI patterns. It matters now because showing your projects clearly and consistently across devices can make a real difference when you're connecting with collaborators, clients, or communities. This site supports simple workflows like editing markdown-like content and dropping in screenshots, and it stays lightweight without back-end complexity. Built for creators and developers who want a fast, attractive portfolio, React Chakra Portfolio boosts productivity and polish with minimal setup. Limitation not specified in the repo. Roadmap not specified in the repo. Try it today and watch how your personal web presence transforms instantly. Project number 3. Semver-PHP. Rust implementation of Composer Semver. Here's something that feels like the next step forward for version logic in PHP ecosystems. Semver-PHP brings a Rust-based rewrite of Composer Semver utilities into a compact, type-safe library you can call from other systems. While semantic versioning Semver itself is a broad specification for managing release numbers in a predictable way, this project focuses on faithfully matching the rules Composer actually uses, including how it treats dev branches, stability tags, and normalization quirks, and packs those behaviors into a Rust crate that's easy to depend on. The repo contains parser logic, constraint checking, and sorting functions that help tools or applications compare and filter versions reliably, reducing headaches when resolving dependency ranges. This matters because consistent version handling underpins reproducible builds and dependency stability across environments. Built for tool authors, package managers, and back-end engineers wrestling with version constraints, Semver-PHP offers a lightweight, correct baseline for version tasks. Limitation, not specified in the repo. Roadmap not specified in the repo. Give it a try and see how much clearer version logic feels in your own workflows. Project number four, create epoch app. Full stack starter with effect and convex. Let's dive into the world of create epoch app, an opinionated starter template that stitches together a modern toolkit, epoch, convex, next.js, tailwind, CSS, and more, so you can launch full stack apps with type safety and real time capabilities from day one. This repo lays out a comprehensive structure with two main apps, 
a Next.js frontend with Shad DCN slash UI and a Discord bot built on Reaccord, along with shared packages for database logic, UI components, observability, and testing utilities. The included Effect Plus Convex integration layer shows how to write type-safe backend functions and call them from your UI, minimizing runtime surprises and boosting developer comfort. Using Bun for fast installs and scripts, and Convex for backend hosting with real-time sync, this template gives you a consistent experience from local development through production. Built for teams and creators who want a robust, scalable foundation without wiring everything yourself, Create Epoch app can cut weeks off setup time. Limitation, not specified in the repo. Roadmap, not specified in the repo. Explore it once and notice how much smoother your work feels. Project number five, better all. Easy async dependency coordination for JavaScript. Here's something that feels like the future of writing smarter async code in JavaScript without manual orchestration headaches. Better all is an open source utility for running asynchronous tasks with automatic dependency optimization instead of the standard promise.all pattern. And it gives you a simple object-based API that naturally expresses how tasks depend on each other. At its core, it kicks off every task immediately. And then when your code needs a result from another task, it waits only for that specific dependency, which means independent work runs in parallel and dependent work waits exactly as long as needed, instead of bottlenecking everything. You write your tasks as named async functions, and inside each one, you can refer to other task results through a magical this, object that holds promises for all other task outcomes, with full TypeScript type inference, so your editors and compilers know exactly what you're getting back. It matters now because modern web apps and servers juggle many async operations, like fetching data, computing derived values, and talking to APIs, and better all helps developers save time and reduce complexity with clean parallel execution and clear dependency reasoning. Try it once and you'll feel how much smoother your async flows become. Project number six, Claude Hode. Live AI Session Insights Hode. Here's something that feels like the next step forward in managing AI coding sessions with Claude Hode. Claude Hode is a plugin that turns your session into a live dashboard showing exactly what's happening, how much context remains, which tools are running, and what subagents are doing at any moment. Installed directly within Claude Hode, it adds a persistent status line beneath your input, giving you visibility into model state, project path, context health, active tool usage, and even task progress without switching windows. The HUD uses Claude Hode's native status line API, so you get real-time insight without extra UI clutter or external dashboards. For developers relying on generative workflows, this kind of feedback loop matters because it reduces uncertainty, prevents context overfill, and makes long interactive reasoning far easier to manage. Built for AI-assisted developers and power coders, it strengthens awareness and control as you iterate. Limitation, not specified in the repo. Roadmap, not specified in the repo. Explore it once and notice how much smoother your work feels. Project number seven, installer, one-line GitHub binary installer. Let's dive into the world of installer, a simple but useful tool that makes installing binaries from GitHub releases as easy as typing one command. This open source service, written in TypeScript and built on Hano and Node.js, wraps GitHub release assets behind a friendly install API that you call with curl, letting you fetch specific versions or the latest build of a tool without hunting for download links. The project inherits inspiration from a classic installer utility, but adds a modern API layer, support for release tags, and easy integration into shell workflows. Whether you're bootstrapping a new machine, setting up CI runners, or sharing tools with teammates, Installer reduces friction and errors in routine setup tasks. It also includes optional Cloudflare workers support and basic configuration for local development or deployment. Built for DevOps engineers and tool authors, it's a lightweight way to improve portability and scriptability of your binaries. Limitation, not specified in the repo. Roadmap, not specified in the repo. Try it today and watch how your workflow transforms instantly. Thanks for watching and spending time exploring these projects with us. If you found value here, Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's next. Drop a comment with your favorite repo from this list, star the projects you liked, and try the demos linked below. Let us know what tools you want covered in upcoming videos.